This go around, let's talk about fonts and text. Fonts and text can be taken care of a couple of ways here in Web Plus. I'm going to magnify this page so that we can see it a little better. And if you'll notice, when the cursor is inside the box, the text box, I can type inside. Now, if the cursor is not active and I click the four arrows on the outside, that's when I can move text around. So if you want to be changing text, just make sure that you put your cursor inside and then it's flashing in order to start typing. Another thing you'll want to be aware of is if you have a Word document, be careful. Sometimes if you copy and paste directly from Word, it can make things a little crazy. What I like to do is put my text inside of a notepad. So let's just say, this is an example of text. You go into your Word doc, you copy and paste everything into here, and then I can highlight the text, click copy, and then I can paste it inside of here. Okay? So that's how that works. Let's say that you want to change the font style throughout the entire website. Well, that's easy to do. If you look at this box in the upper left, it gives you all of the different styles of body text. From the heading, to hyperlinks, to indented, all across the board here. So what I can do is I can go to text, text style palette, and I can go in here and change any of these that I want. So if I wanted to make all of these red, for example, I could. I hit apply, and there, my body's text is red moving forward. And I can just simply hit undo if I don't want to have that happen. So text, text style palette, is where you can change the colors and the look and feel of your fonts throughout the site. You can also change the fonts as well. So if you're not a fan of Tahoma, perhaps you want Verdana, be careful with your text though, because if you want to put something in that's fancy like Papyrus, be careful because it might not necessarily show in all browsers. You want to have something that's web friendly for your main text. Might be better if you're using a papyrus or a certain kind of font to actually turn it into a picture image instead of using that font throughout the website because it tends to get a little wonky in certain browsers. So just be aware of that. Verdana you're safe with, Tahoma you're safe with, Arial, Times, Roman, Georgia. All the basics would be fine as far as using those for text. So that's the basics. You can also use the regular tools that you're used to from a Word doc. For example, if I wanted to use bold or italicize or underline, I can even change the size of the font. So everything's going to be pretty familiar to you. Center, right justified, justified, and my bullets are here as well, and numbering. So very similar to what you've been used to and accustomed to in a typical Word document for Microsoft. Just uh, do more bells and whistles on it. So that's how you use text inside of Serif Web Plus X5. My name is Sarah Spencer. My company has got clicks. I hope that you'll fan the page or better yet, just sign up for some of the free tutorials and sign up for our newsletter because we give you updates through our newsletter on what's new with Web Plus X5 and other Web Plus Serif products. Thanks for watching.